was very special. The tears Nelson Shaw shed when we sat down for this interview in August after his longtime girlfriend Lily Sue was murdered She's did not feel life. authentic to his estranged son Byron in the least. That was one of his best manipulations um, to, to put on the theatrics. When I watched that, it just reminded me of his things, things he's done his whole life which is to manipulate people. On Friday, October 28th, just hours after he and 35-year-old Hashim Basin were arrested for murder in a plot to kill Sue outside a little Saigon massage parlor. Cha died by suicide in his holding cell at the Santa Rita jail. I didn't have any sadness or emotions towards the news of my father passing. For me, it's been like a huge ominous monkey off my back. Byron, who does not use his father's last name, describes a tumultuous childhood filled with abuse. He grabbed the phone off the wall and he threw it and it split my nose, it cracked my nose so it broke and it was bleeding everywhere. He says his father's narcissism broke their family apart. He had lots of other companions, female companions, I'm sure. He, he says his father had sociopathic tendencies and was incapable of empathy. He liked to see in movies or in real life people suffer or animals suffering. Melissa Williams and her mother worked for Cha at a financial consulting company in the 90s. She describes Cha as a good man, but one with two sides. He was a talker, he was a persuader, and he had uh, obviously a love and a need for money, and that's what drove him to where he eventually ended. Court documents show Zhu's estimated net worth at around 12 to 14 million dollars. Law enforcement sources say wiretapping revealed Cha's discussion with Basin and his role in the murder for hire plot. Basin was arraigned Tuesday and will not enter a plea until November 15th. He remains in jail. In the East Bay, Dion Lim, ABC7 News.